All right, guys. So we're back. Um, sorry for the you know upload yesterday. We're gonna hop right into it. I got this academy squad. It's a very solid team. I played two games and um, I was playing like shit. I lost fucking two of the easiest games ever. Um, sorry, but yeah, two of the easy game, two of the, two of the easiest games ever, and I lost them. Yeah, there was misses and stuff, but like the way I played, it wouldn't even need to come down to misses. So. Um, I need to tighten up because uh, I was trying to get rid of my get my points back from the decay. Though I didn't decay that much, but I'm like, let me grab some, and it didn't work out. So we're here. Um, we'll get. Um, let me see what the ladder is. Doesn't matter. We'll, we'll win. All right, 1886. I just need to slow down and, and stop rushing the games, as if I'm not here to enjoy myself. I'm playing like, oh yeah, hurry up so I can beat you. So, let's break this down. Uh, my opponent doesn't guard well against Dragapult at all. He doesn't deal with my, um, my, this. I have to scout for trick, but he doesn't deal with this at all. Really, Claude Zyre is the key. Key that's holding his team together. And my Shempa is going to be key to destroying his. So, I don't have a counter for this. Other than Garganical Terrid, as far as his Dark Stab goes, but again, Trick. Um, Slow King. Future Sight plus. Crunch. Future Sight plus Crunch has no counter. Um, Zapdos, Wall by Clausire, Great Tusk is decent. Gyropult is great. Um, so we're gonna do is phase one. Phase one's gonna be pull primarily to. I've noticed these running like dual screens, but I mean, I, it'd be pretty foolish to risk this. But I mean, yeah, I was like, it'd be pretty foolish to risk that. Um, this is an interesting moment because for a lot of reasons. So I'm thinking if I if I curse here, what's his counterplay? I mean, if I iron defense, so I could salt cure, but he could have what? I don't know what his hazard would be. Rocks, okay. Rocks and his Zapdos. It doesn't matter if he were to stay in anyway. Um, Zapdos is a non-factor. Uh, very, very interesting gold switch there. But I positioned Sloking for a reason. So Hoopa comes in. I don't know what kind of Hoopa it is. I know it's on bound. Uh, this is a fairly obvious... Again, Trick trick is just one of them things. Uh, I'm going to hard Garg. I think Garg, if he were to... Okay, so he's Dark Pulse. And that looks maybe Scarf. Uh, we'll recover once. A Shifu Rapid Strike wears his ugly head. It may be time to unveil the terror. Uh, him getting rid of the scarf matters, but it's gonna be uh, Tusk versus. I don't think there's a lot of downside to daring this now. I don't think there's a lot of downside. I don't. I don't foresee me terroring anything else. I knew he's gonna U-turn. That's not really relevant. Clausire is coming in anyway. Um, the Clausire needs to get beat down. Mascot. Okay, it's not even. Um, this is actually great. This Clausire is not a factor at all. Uh, what can it do? Okay, yeah. This Clausire is going to run out of recovery. So I'll Salt Cure Spam. Because that's, that's what I was wondering. What is this counterplay if I if I um, Garg? Maybe Hoopa or some one of his Trick Mons. Yeah, God, Hoopa is gone. So if that was his trick mon, then he might not be able to beat this. Um, unless this is banded. If that's the case, I'll take about half. Should iron defense up more, but I can get him back. Yeah, it's banded. It took I probably should have paid attention, but it was a, it was more than half. So I can slow king. Um, but I knew it would bait him to stay in. I didn't think he'd terror, but that makes sense. I need bait him to stay in for the salt cure. Mm. 
Sloking is very useful, very important, very important indeed. Garganical is king. Garganical wins. Uh, my Zapdos isn't required. And I'll get the full power anyway. Alright, you can my Zap. Um, hmm, hmm. Yeah, and Tusk, Tusk, he's gonna anticipate me to spin. Um, so that gives me the knock. I didn't expect Zapdos to be his initial, but I'll take it. So it allows for me to position my Zapdos. I guess I could have con considered Hurricane. I literally thought about Hurricane the moment. Like, literally, not until. So this is great positioning because uh, Claude might get 2 KO'd because he should be unaware. Uh, but it's hard to say. Okay, so Gar comes back, which is what I've been. This is what we've been waiting on. So Zamazenta is in. I'm not sure what this can do to me. Like if it 1v1s me in some capacity. So we're just gonna body press spam. So we're like, it takes two body presses to break his sub. Um, So one, which means he's not getting enough back. But I could get to the, so he's, he's at 12% for every two iron defenses. Because uh, it also could get to the point where I get him low enough to where I can just go for um, Draco Meteor. Because I don't need body press to win technically with my guard. Like, I don't need to be able to body press. So he's losing a ton of health to the point where I'll be able to Draco him. Soon he's oh shit he crit me there I didn't pay attention that wait how did I lose so much health body press oh yeah he did crit me um okay but as I said I conditioned him now now I'll go to my dragapult you either body press or you'll substitute yep and now I just shot a ball knock him out even if he were to switch now he's too low on health. To where my Garganicum can come back in and do Garg things, right? And so now I can Salt Cure freely. Mm hmm. And I Salt Cure spam again. There's very little downside. Mm hmm. I have three Iron Defenses, but I said I don't need them. So Garg managed to pull back, but I said, you know, it was playing like shit. Easy ass wins too. Like they're like I should have just recorded them. Easy ass wins. Like it was like okay, I'm gonna get to two thousands, then we gonna get some. But yeah, so we just gotta keep going, keep going. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, no dragon resist, which means uh, we're gonna click dragon moves. It's probably notice focus slash samurato has been the grotto of the rotto. Of, um, Iron defense. Iron Defense Garg is almost inevitable. I'll just need to, that, that's probably like Bandit or Shifu or something. So that's really the only thing. So we're gonna have to remove Samurott early. Um, my Tusk isn't that great. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna Shimpal this, oh, I did not expect Pelipper. Which is interesting. Don't want to miss. I really don't want to miss. So I'm going to crunch. Crunch of 2 a KO. Um, obviously, if it's, if he loses the, the Pelipper here in one go, if it's offensive Pelipper, so this should get 2 a KO. Unless it's his scarf. It's his scarf. Okay, so that's good to know. Um, he loses Amon here. Pelly. Ah! Come on, man. Fuck. That's a two. The Pelipper will be gone, dude. That's so lame, man. Now he has all the fucking leverage. Jesus. All right, let me calm down and think this through. That's a really big fucking miss there, man. That's a game changing miss. I knew you'd do that, but that's a game changing miss right there. 
game changing miss all right so let's think this through wave crashes see terra waters okay so he commits his terra already man if we were terra water guard wrapped wrapped the fuck up uh he could be um adaptability and he's running swiss swim on the on the um so we surf here he's gonna wave crash and i surf knock out it doesn't knock him out so that's not good he has one turn of rain though so i actually could have chilly reception there i forgot i had that i literally i'm not see what i'm talking about if i chill a reception there that's another ko slow king still alive just this unnecessary nonsense man on my end but you know yeah i um i should not have just hopped I, I literally got in from a long ass day and i was like you know let me just hop into the recording but i, I still think i'll be fine definitely the draco miss in particular was the big one um scar samurai something i didn't expect so now that i'll look out for that in the future but um because what i'm thinking about is because floats will can't kill my pult because what you'll do is sack pelipper because i need the iron defense that's what i need to do but i need his rain stalled Yeah, I didn't. I didn't play. The, particularly the sloking turn was horrible. My sloking should be alive. I just chilly reception. Um, I thought surf would kill. Truth be told, after the wave crash recoil, I'm very surprised it didn't. But chilly reception was just a better play. So yeah, um, what to do? What to do? And I think he's adaptability. I'm not sure how strong this is. Sloking had no defense investment, so maybe not. So if I shot a ball and he sacks Pelipper. He comes back to this. Sax floats. So. And an aqua jet. Okay. Uh, Vasculation. I don't think this is Swiss Swim, honestly. My Zapdos is slower than. He doesn't know that. But my Zapdos is. Because what, what, what I would need to do is actually just. Um, the. Liquidation, then get full barred, which is blessed. Uh, do I U turn here? No. No. So the ditto comes in. He's going to U turn out into her Shifu here. Oh, wow. It's Sash Ditto. Very interesting. Okay, then. I don't need to. I'm gonna iron defense. He does the Earth Shifu. Let me see if this is banded. So I recover. It did a lot. Yeah. Did a lot more to me than I expected. Yeah, I didn't play. This was an easy ass win. There, again, Draco. Draco didn't miss there. This would be a wrap. Um, but the the chilly reception turn was on me. So I think he. Oh, he got a high ass. I think he's banded rain. So the sash ditto. So I, I gotta be mindful of things like this. Sash ditto. All these stuff. Um, uh, cause I thought they're right. Oh no. I mean, I, I kind of figured he was banded. So I lost a ton of points. Oh, well. Why is there a Magirna in front of me? I could have sworn they said Mag was banned. Okay. I, all right. I'm not even, whatever. Uh, I could have sworn I, I saw Mag was banned yesterday. Or maybe I saw things. But let me relax and, and, and actually play these games properly. Mm. I didn't say out loud what I was thinking. As far as the wind con, so Mila ceaseless edge shocker, shocker. Seems seems all of them are sash. So, I think 
there a reason to not to voltage versus like if I voltage was the matchup gonna be pulled matchup's gonna be See, I'm gonna discharge you. I don't know why in God's name he would go valiant. I, I swear he can't make this stuff up, my friends. Why in God's name would you go valiant? He's so lucky he didn't get parried there. Uh, it's physical valiant. That makes even less sense. Your CC knock. That, that makes even less sense why you went valiant. Okay. So you gave me the spin. I appreciate it. I just. Hey. For all the, the work you put in to get them ceaseless edge kills, like it just doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but hey. Somebody in the comments maybe can break this down for me. Garg is, is, is maniacally dangerous. Like it's that doesn't even make sense. But I'm just I, I I'm sorry guys. Like, you know, I, I literally have to like, you know what, fuck it. I'm a I'm a Bro went Iron Moth on a on a speed boosted fucking tusk. What? What? He doesn't know my speed tier right now. I happen to be slow. But like you don't know my speed tier. I'm an earthquake. So I'm guessing he had to like, I'm thinking what my worst case scenario could be. He's plus special attack which makes it a little more dangerous. Shampa is gonna come in and, and KO him on. He's gonna go for energy ball slash Psychic, something along those lines. But if he randomly like fire blasts or something like that, or goes for um, Terra Fairy agility, see what I'm talking about? He fire danced, and I'm faster than him. Like, why do this, bro? Why, bro, 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 bro? Mm, doesn't make sense to rocks. Nope, nope. Bro's really got lost his mind. Like he's truly, he's truly gone it's insane. He's gone insane with power. All right, so we're gonna rocks. Um, Swords dances. Don't care. Don't care. Uh, did he tear? Yeah, he tear. I don't even know why he swords dance. That's a waste of a swords dance right there. It's a waste of a sword dance unless he crits. Which is a possibility, right? Like, if, why is Stevie gonna switch, brother? He's playing worse than me, and I'm playing bad. I'm playing bad, guys. I'm playing badly. Very badly. So, we're gonna go Garg. When you see Magirna, we Garg it. We Garg it. We Garg it. Bro said no. I will not allow your Garganical to have its way. And I respect him for that. I respect him for that. He shouldn't let my Garg have its way. Um, so, Katao comes out. I didn't expect Katao. Um, 218. Yeah, I think that seals the deal. If I just go Garg and Iron Defense, no. 107. There's no way he's Jolly. Um, there's no way he's Jolly. I could body press straight up, but this is better. Low kick. That did still a lot to me. Probably shouldn't be risking this, but I know I'd get the full power. Let's knock him out with the press. But the press allows me to, um, and it's the steel one, which is blessed. So you just iron defense to infinitum. Especially because this shouldn't be, can't be faster than Dragapult. Actually, why am I not salt carrying? <laughs> like, why am I not just salt carrying? How much it do? 55, that did a lot. Did a lot to me. Hmm. Good prediction. Good prediction. That was a good prediction. I forgot I hadn't Terra. I'm like, I can just Terra. What am I talking about? I could have salt cured. Like, there's so many things I should have done there. Silly, silly jam, silly jam. Um, but this is a more uh, should not have hop on it. Like, usually I take a break, but I have so much shit to get done from this past weekend. You know, like, if I don't get this video in, my boys aren't getting a video today and girls. Like, you know. Three percent, <laughs> but I had no business hopping on the ladder right now. I, I, this is my a bit of a delirious life, and I gotta go to the gym after this and then get started with shit and then get back by six for a little rendezvous. And so I'm like, yo, 
But I today tomorrow is a little more freed up, so I'll record um, in the, a more proper state of mind. So this is just a just a brief little thing, guys. Fret not, fret not. This won't be this won't be a a, a continual thing. Um, very dangerous team, very dangerous team. Um, for a lot of reasons. My Shampa is going to be critical, more so for that that Hatterian. Um, my the mascot could be critical. We'll see. Definitely don't want T spikes up. I know the mindless Glamour is coming. I'll serve first. I, I could future sight, but I don't want him switching out on the sash turn because they're my, they're mindless rocks. Um. There are a couple ways I could play this next turn. What gives me the most mileage? Future Sight into, because I know it's Mindless Energy Ball. Okay. So this, I'm gonna be staring down his um, great his gambit potentially. So I'll chili this turn. Yeah, that's what I wanted. He doesn't have a spin blocker. He does have gold angle, but I don't think he's going gold angle on my great tusk versus a gambit. I mean, I've seen people do wild stuff like that, but gold can't kill my my um, tusk and I'd actually like to lure it in so it leaves the um, the gambit into swords dance which no complaints here I'm not sure why if it's Terra flying then obviously Shen Pao is gonna put him in the pack so I'm gonna take this opportunity to get up the rock so it is Terra flying but as I said if, if it is Terra flying Shen Pao is gonna put him in a pack and he doesn't have a, a ice res any good ice resist other than gold Engo. So the fact that my, my Tusk's literally on the team to check fucking um, Gambit, so... And I have a Zapdos and stuff, you know, so... Very interesting um, to see series of decisions, but hey, no complaints, as I said. So we get to Ice Shard here. I'm pretty sure Ice Shard kills. If it does not, I'm in trouble. You know what, I should have done in Zapdos first. This was a misplay. He can't even kill me with Sucker Punch, what am I saying? This like Icicle Crash, straight up. Yeah. Um, and that's why I got up the rocks. I don't know why, yeah, what am I talking about? I can just Icicle Crash, why am I talking about Ice Shard? <laughs> I, I, don't, I, like, I told you guys, that I, I had no business hopping on today. The day was not the day to be hopping on. This dude really commented in, uh, in front of the face of an Icicle Crash. Shampoo, like this guy is insane. I should see. Uh, there are a couple ways we can go about beating this Valiant. I don't know if it's T-Bolt. Even if it is, um, the future site uh, will ensure victory later on. Uh, probably Moonblast here. Let me think about it. Yeah, I don't need my Garg. Even if you were to Moonblast, I can pivot around until um, I get the opportunity. Say Moonblast, which you know obviously could have ended his career. Yeah, and all I do is just give Garganical up here. Uh, yes, Hatterene. Hatterene gets dropped by Shampoo. What could the Tusk be? The Tusk isn't rocks. So what could the Tusk be? Maybe I don't give this up. Actually, maybe I don't give this up. Last, I eat it. I eat it for lunch. If I give slow, I mean, I'm gonna ice shard, obviously, but I think sloking is less useful. No. No. 
No, it's not. It's, it's, it's not less useful. It's not less useful. Yeah. He can't switch because uh, he terrified. Terror. I haven't terrified yet. Uh, he has no ghost switching. If I go pull here and he knocks. Um, because of the downside of my, I'm thinking if I go Pult and he knocks, uh, what do I need to win? I don't need the rocks. Um, I don't need the rocks to win. Rocks there, he didn't need the rocks gone, truth be told. Like the risk versus award, like the, um, Gambit was the only thing. So if I go gold, if I go, what's his face there? Dragapult and he spins. It's pretty much over. No, it's not. He has a fairy type. It wasn't over. But I don't think he needed to spin there. Um, so Goldengo is in, which puts me in a position of power for two reasons. Uh, if this Goldengo is a choice scarf and faster than me, then it won't kill me. And this allows Shienpa to get a KO for free. Uh, okay, so he just leaves it in. This is blessed. Yeah, so I just literally, I think I tear a dark and just wash him. Wash him away, wash away, wash him away. He's gonna go for the draining kiss here. And um, that should seal the deal. Trick room, wow, wow, wow. You see what I'm talking about? These guys are crafty. So I'll get some region on Sloking since I won't take much damage from anything. Um, slack off here. His Gambit comes and he has the Fallen 5. Um, but I do have that Ice Shard. And I do have that Terra Water tucked. Got that Terra Water tucked. So what I'm going to do is Surf the first turn. Uh, especially because I'm slower than him. And now I can go Zap those. Now that I know he's... Um, now that I know he's one, he's not sucker punching here. Um, oh, he goes out of range, which seals the deal. Cause now I just crunch, 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 crunch. Bandit Shampa is just a beast. Just a beast. Just a beast. I got back most of my points. Not really. I was at nineteen ninety something. So what? Thirty minutes. Let's grab another one. Last one. One last one. My apologies for the cricks. One last one. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. And my phone is going absolutely nuts today. Absolutely nuts today. Ah, sucking low key stolly. Why is there a level 99 sloking? Is that is it really that deep to move last? It's where you you're like I'm giving up a level. I'm giving up a level. So Terra Dark, Shampa, Crunch, 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 very dangerous crunch. It's a very dangerous crunchist. But I think more importantly, my Garganical. If that's not um Cover Cloak Pex, Garganical is gonna have a field day and I'm not tearing it because I don't want that sloking to be able to sludge bomb me. Um though it'd be nice to tear it for the Pex, but I think for the greater good. And uh Zapdos is handsome as hell. If that's not Spidiff Hippo, and if it is, then again, Terra Dark Crunch goes whoosh. Goes woo hoo hoo. Goes woo hoo hoo. Um, a couple ways to go about this. Too many ways, in fact. How does he beat me, though? Like, what is his counterplay? Because um, the, the fact that Shampa is back in the tier is one of the reasons that Terra Flying wasn't as used on Gambit. But when it left, there was no Ice type really other than backs with Ice Shard, which is weak. So, hmm, I really don't know what to expect here. I really don't know what to expect here. I definitely see a um, toxicing Toxapex trying to do toxicy things. Um, does this learn toxic? What does this do? Will-O-Wisp. 
If he willows me, might can't toxic me. Does that matter? He goes hard toxic So this guy is insane. Good to know. Uh good to know. He strikes me as a baneful bunker using type of guy. Not gonna lie to you. Uh I wanna attack him so badly here. If you switch Pex into into a Zapdos, that lets me know you're insane. Uh gonna earthquake though. Uh Corbinite was obvious, but it's low risk for me to, to EQ. Um, especially because he does strike me as the U-turning type. That's even if he's packing Bray Bird. Bray Bird's very low risk for me. I lose very little health. Yeah, I figured. He didn't strike me as a... Um, so we're going to knock here. He's either going to defog or, or uh, say so his helmet. Um, yeah. It's going to either defog or... or um. So this is interesting, right? Because he doesn't have any good ghost resist. Um, this is interesting from a positional standpoint. Uh, so let's see how much this does to Hippo. I'd assume Sloking would be his initial, but um, Hippo doesn't like coming in on my Great Tusk. And he may want to stop my Volt Switch shenanigans. Uh, yeah, I don't see I, it's counterplay to, hopefully we hit this. Nice. 39, so he's max but F. Like he's literally max max, which means um, he can't come in on my um, my Shampoo's Crunch. So he has to heal here. Uh, he won't. He's gonna go for rocks, basically on some. Yo, no rocks are completely silly. Nah, no, nah, it's not. I don't know why Sloking Galar was the double. I, yeah, that that made very little sense just now. Um, for this this very sequence here, because now, well, I guess he's just gonna go back to Sloking Galar. Um, a hurricane. But that's what this that's the exact reason why hard switching hippo out was dumb. Because now you can't switch in on Zapdos this hurricane. You get two it KO'd now because you didn't heal. I'm gonna go for it again, because why the fuck not? This does not take this well. So this is not a soul vest. Which is amazing. Which is amazing. Don't wanna get sludge bombed. Uh but Shimpao is looking mighty Shimpao right now. You know? Uh So what I'll do is Polt, a Chili Recepted. I didn't expect Chili Reception. For the same reason I just explained. Because it's not healed. Again, I, it strikes me as a, um, a spiky shield. Uh, well, not a spiky shield. A Baneful Bunker type guy. I may have Toxic Spikes. Toxic. Strikes me as a Baneful Bunker type of guy. So this would be the perfect opportunity for him to heal his um, Hippowdon. And this would be the perfect opportunity for me to reposition for my... Um, for my... Um, my Shienpa to get a KO. So I'm going to go Shienpa. It's pretty, pretty low risk even if he surfs. He double toxics. Okay. Okay, then I'll crunch then. Uh... Pretty bad double toxic for me. I don't know why he thought Corviknight was the counter. I don't know why he thought Toxapex was the other counter. Um, yeah, Gambit makes more sense. The toxic does matter. The toxic does matter. As here, he he's gonna double out his ship. He's gonna double out. I don't know what he double out to. But right now, I'm thinking, what's the best play? I mean, even if the Gambit stays in, uh, this is his only Ghost Resist, so right now I'm looking. I'm going to crunch again um, so that he doesn't have a Dragapult switch in. Uh, he stays into Stealth Rock, which is insane considering the fact that the uh, the Great Tusk would have been the initial play, so you wouldn't have gotten any mileage out of your rocks. So it seems like he doesn't have anything for my Garg. Like, I'm trying to scout it out. As he suckers there. So I put the Coronite as far where he has to defog or or um this doesn't have an item. So Shadow Ball. Yeah, rocks go a lot further for my 
when Pix is gonna tear it here. So when Pix is the um, when Pix is the when Pix is the shadow mode. Well, this doesn't have an item. Either. Okay, it has heavy duty boost. When Pix is the counter, you know you're in trouble. So my guard iron defensing shouldn't do shit to Hippodon. He's gonna sleep. Gonna rest. Um, Hmm. Yeah, I need to stay in that first turn. I don't know what he does now. That's what I'm wondering. That knocked the decent damage, not gonna lie. I guess the say black could have had encore. What does he do? Chili receptions. What's the counterplay? That's what I'm trying to figure out. What's the counterplay? Surf? More repeated sloking switchings. Hey's uh and it is Cobra Cloak, okay. I was wondering like what's the counterplay for this? Alright, that does make things a lot harder. My Zapdos is out gonna have to go crazy now. Uh, see, because he's toxicing every time. Um, hmm. Well, that's a bummer. My Zapdos is going to have to go absolutely bonkers. Zapdos and, and um, Dragapult. So I guess they're running Cobra Cloak picks now. That's good to know. Um, Iron Defense again, because uh, I'll waste his recovers. But I just need to condition him to stay in. Boom. He surfs. Alright. So now, now I know his whole set. Okay. There's the pot on. Which is a misplay because you didn't um you didn't um because I'm not letting you heal beyond a two-way KO. You didn't um That's fine. That is perfectly fine. I curse all day, bro. Yeah. So he got the upper hand there, because uh, his hippo is healed enough to where it can come. But I don't know, it's cursed, it's not whirlwind. Uh man. I lost a lot of ground there. Particularly me letting him toxic my shampoo. That was fairly impatient when I could have just put him put in a pack by terror darking. Um uh, Yeah. This being fucking covert. I'm like, how do I get rid of this damn covert cloak on him? Uh, does it make sense to let my slogan get toxic? I don't think I can get around it. Plus, I don't think you'll end up mattering. I don't think you'll end up mattering. He shall knock off recover. If I go Dragapult and click, still know what this shit does. Go Dragapult, click Draco Meteor. Let's see how much that does, does to this. I'm gonna discharge. 67, that's good damage. Knock off. Okay. Oh, I missed. That's big. Actually, this might have stone as if it has curse. Me missing there is big, but it is what it is. So I'll spin first. Don't think Sableye comes in. Goes Corviknight. Mm. Yeah, it's fucking Pex being Covert Cloak. So I have to watch out for that. Like Pex was that that Pex set is the second time I faced it. And so I'm guessing it's a common enough occurrence to where I have to watch out for it. All right then, good to know. Uh, Stoking Galar was never to play there. I get to roost, uh, his hippo's gonna come in. I just don't know what kind of hippos these guys be using. So, I'm gonna Sloking first, Rock Slide, that's what he has. This is blessed for a couple reasons. I think if I future sight this turn, 
Yeah, it's fine. Don't think there's too much downside. Ritterside this turn. Um, Zapdos this turn. I didn't think he'd go overnight there, truth be told. Uh, this should be a KO. Gambit. Doesn't hit Hurricane. Does he go Hippo? Okay. So Gambit's not quite dead, but still annoying. It's really my Pult. I need to get my Pult in safely. But his, his Hippo is max spadef and it's running Rock Slide Curse. So it, it's running some sets that I didn't expect. And it's really causing me trouble. Um, should go Corviknight here. But I figured he'd get impatient and leave it in. Which is good. Because I haven't terra yet. So I have Terra in hand. And I have my Garg that can curse. My my uh, Shampa is still one more killing him. So I'm debating whether or not I should waste it. But that losing his leftovers there was big. So I gotta get my free switch into... I'll get Shampa up. I can't risk him. Um, So I'll salt cure first because the EQ won't do shit. And he's cursed, so I can iron defense. But him being as low as he is is big. So I recover first because I know he's gonna switch this turn. Soaking comes in, which is a great position for him. Great, great position for him. Actually, maybe I shouldn't have done this because this does give Gambit a potential free switch, but I doubt he Gambit. Um I didn't think he defogged that turn, truth be told to you. Uh, for a lot of reasons. But now Zapdos gets the free switch. And what do you do? What do you do? Because this is a kill here, because of the future side. So I'm going to discharge this time. He gets Gambit up rightfully. Um, very surprised by the picks, which maybe thinks I'm going to go. So it's Terra Steel picks. Man! Now, the upside of that is that my Garganically is a huge issue now. Huge, huge issue now. Because now I can body press you. Um, that is a huge issue now. And I can future sight pivot my sloking around. Let me think, is it better to Chili? You go to his sloking Galar. No. His sloking Galar is irrelevant. Especially because I probably say I'm slower. No, he's level 99, so he's probably slower. But if I time this future sight right with this shadow ball, it's a wrap. So if, let's say I slack off. Actually, it's better to slack off this turn in case he chilies. Yeah. So now, like, because my Corviknight has, my Sloking has a lot of leverage versus him. Especially because now he has to go for um, recover. And I found out that my Sableye does a lot of damage to him. Yeah, I mean, me, my Zapdos does a lot of damage to his, uh, his Sableye. Discharge is uh, 67. Please hit, please hit. Oh my God, man. If Discharge is 67, that was gonna put him in a pack just now. That's that's really lame. But I, I'm, I'm still gratefully Terra Steeled. That's really lame, but you know, um, <laughs> This dude went to hippo on me, man. All right, all right. I'll just um, just be patient. Ah, <sighs> frustrating, frustrating, frustrating. Very frustrating. But we will continue. We'll continue. We'll continue. So heal the Zapdos here. The one on Sableye is one that really fucking grinded my gears, man. Cause he got he got a lot of momentum back in this game when he should have none. But um, this is an excellent exa excellent example of a case where the opponent can't break my team either. So all I need to do is be patient, right? Um, it's like our chili reception. So now I have to position for Sableye. So I have a, a future side out there. If I were to go to Dragapult, what would this counterplay be? 
Pex, perhaps. He summons Sludge Bomb, Psy Shock. Which means Garg. Garg shuts this shit the fuck down. If I go zap those here. He should chilly, but from a positional standpoint, Draco should kill him. Protects. Good protect there. Problem is you don't have a Draco. Oh, well, I guess he does have the pecs coming on Draco. I think he's in the stand. Okay, he's not that bad. He's not that big of a fool. Yeah, the Sableye should be done, though, bro. Though. So here comes the slow king. Hmm. So he's showing his all his moveset now, okay. So if I chili any chilies back and I go to Zapdos. Because he's regening, which is annoying. Mm. I don't even have to chili reception. I can hard switch. Probably gonna have to start thinking long term about this. Because he can't stay in and he's using up his chili receptions and not thinking about it. Hmm. I know what I'll do. Oh wait, guard! He's fucking. Uh, I forgot I terra fairied this. I literally the moment I switched, and I was like, "Wait, I'm fairy type now." Forgot I had the terra fairy. So it comes with smoking. At least I get to control the narrative a bit more. Um. Cause he has to sludge bomb. This being healthy is an issue though. Because I said I get to control the narrative a bit more. Uh, Cause he can't just stay in and do what he wants. Sableye is used a lot of recovers. So he goes Pex for some reason. Which is actually good for my um, pay me my zap does. Need to get rocks back up. Yeah, them them hurricane misses were big. I'm gonna. I guess I'll have to stall out the protects. Uh. Yeah, because I have to watch my hurricane PP too. Hmm. I'm gonna switch out to hip on. Mm-hmm. I shouldn't have grabbed this last game. I don't have time to play a game this long. should never stay in here, but he's staying in. Okay. Not that much of a fool, huh? He's going to double switch here. Doesn't. Okay. The iron defense is irrelevant, but... Um, I'm surprised he's playing it this way, because he doesn't switch well into Shadow Ball. What? What? <laughs> okay. Bro had lost his fucking mind just now. Ah, uh, okay. The roost starts at though, so. I don't like using up my roost, but again, we have to stall out. He can go to zip out on if he wants. So it's a misplay right there. He's slowly 
slowly making slip sloppy plays, which is what I need. Because the shot of ball damage is, is way too high. So if he's not careful, if he's not careful, no, I'm aware. I'm aware. I'm not letting you recover. How many recovers will be? He used six. Here comes the Sableye, but I um, didn't expect the Galar. Um, so we got a chili here because we're too low on health. But um, yeah, if I time this right, because his Galar is like some offensive set, I think. Uh, smoking. Just, all his moves do nothing to me, but I got to be mindful of of please for the love of God so this is literally the positioning we talked about the only difference is I don't have future side up but because it's for 38% yeah if he toxics and I switch he's in trouble he's in trouble yeah I need to get this right I'm gonna eventually flamethrower his picks once I condition him long enough But yeah, this this is my fault. I, I could have easily destroyed this guy with my shampoo. Um, big lesson learned here. Big, big lesson learned here. Wait, don't I have future side up? What is this guy doing? You can just slack off spam. And try to waste my hurricanes. So you're gonna okay use your pierce lock offs please for the love of god fucking hit yes excellent that's big damage so now here comes his um hip out on which is what i want go sloking okay gotta watch my chilies as i've said um just surf here yep i need to make sure that uh because uh, Garganical wins once his um his Sloking Galar dies. That's why I'm like, you just hard switched your Sloking Galar into my fucking Garg. Even to my Shadow Ball. Like on a double. So now you should go Galar Sloking at perfect positioning. I'm Shadow Balling. Even because eventually I'm going to get a Spadef drop or a crit on the pecs. Plus I'm hoping he leaves this in. Just knowing he'll live one from full. I don't want to, yup. Yup, I need dumb shit like that. Please, for the love of fucking God, thank you so much, Dragapult. You're a king. Cause if he, if he, if I toxic one time, if he toxics one time and I don't, um, and I don't switch, he's done. So I'm going to make the play again. I'm going to chili reception again. I'm not gonna let him catch that. If he goes to sloking, I got him. Okay, so he goes Sableye. Uh, not ideal for me, but what I can do is go Dragapult and hit that young Shadow Ballo. Uh, cause there's no way he's leaving this in. He's gonna protect. I waste up. Let me think. I could force him to protect this turn. So waste one. I know what I'll do. Force him to waste when I'm gonna double switch to my Dragapult here. Phoenox, he's king. Yeah, got that ass boy. All right, so now Sipadon can come in, so I'm not even gonna go up to that. And I'm gonna shot a ball again this turn. Does he toxic? Ah, he got my ass. I probably lost now. I probably lost now. Because I have no way to beat this slow king. I, I haven't, but the game is going to take too long. And I don't have that kind of time. I don't have that kind of time today. Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Bro is like starting to fucking... So and then do some crazy stuff. Bro starting to do some crazy stuff. Uh especially if I can stall out his sludge bombs versus guard. If I stall those out then 
Um, Garg's looking handsome versus his sloking Galarian. Pressure. Maybe you'll do some dumb shit and stay in. I don't know why you do that. But yeah, should always coordinate. Mm hmm. So this is going to get interesting now. I'm not going to forfeit, actually. Uh, this is going to get interesting the next couple turns. Um, because now I have Future Sight in hand. If I time a Future Sight plus my Zap Dose, I'll get a kill. No, I won't. It's Terra Steel now. Okay, so we're going to Infinite Switch then. We're going to play that game. So I used... Five recovers. So if I were to chilly reception this turn into Garg, if I were to go Chili, because he can't touch my sloking. Hmm. Yeah. We might play. We end up playing switch though, until um, I see him. What did I just have in there? I don't remember. I think it was Great Tusk. No. no. I think it was Garganical. Either way. Um, might have to stall a bit. I'm trying to think if there's something I'm overlooking. What could I need what could I do to have him throw? Flamethrowers. He's gonna chilly second, but I have the um, I go Great Tusk here. Set up rocks. Rocks don't really matter. I could sludge bomb, but that's okay. Yeah. Now he's gonna have to take a future side. Knew it'd stay in. Oh, that did nothing. That did nothing, actually. Wow. Okay. I thought that would do more. <laughs> wow, that did nothing. That's not good. That did nothing. What? How's that? How did that do nothing? Thirty-four percent. How did that do nothing? Okay. Crits me there. Oh yeah, I uh, might play my Shampoo and Dragon Ball badly. This was an easy game for me, and I don't have the time to play it out. There, I see a way I can do this, but it's gonna take a lot of time, um, and it's gonna take a lot of switch stalling because technically he can't get past my um, like for example with the leftovers repeatedly, right? If I switch infinitely back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Now I'm getting forced in the roost like, uh, like, like I could get past it, but or just rapid spin, rapid spin until oh he leaves it in, and fucking poisons me. So yeah, he leaves the sloking there, which could have killed and, and won the game. But as I said, that was my fault. So I ended up losing a ton of points from there. We'll be back tomorrow. This life should not have been this long. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.